And summer break is just getting started. Lawmakers have their eyes on the fall and if school should be allowed to start before Labor Day. Our Capitol correspondent Tim Skubik has the latest on this debate. Here's a story that affects virtually every school family in the state. Years ago, the tourism lobby, after years of attempting it, finally got lawmakers to adopt a law in 2005, ordering local schools to open after Labor Day. And ever since then, the education lobby has been fighting back to give local schools the power to make that decision on opening day. Giving school districts this option is the epitome of local control. Absolutely. Mr. Spadafore and his public education colleagues now have a bill before the democratically controlled legislature. It would eradicate the tourism law and give local school boards that option to open before Labor Day if they want. The tourism industry, meanwhile, is fighting back, hoping to give parents more summertime to vacation with their kids. That means a lot of families are foregoing that last vacation uh, and just not taking that as schools start a little bit earlier. That means the over 200,000 high school students in Michigan that are having their first job opportunity have to lose that opportunity a little bit sooner. And I don't think all education takes place in the classroom. To which Mr. Spadafore retorts, I would argue that um, it might not be popular, but I do believe that the education of our children is probably a little bit more uh, higher on my, my concern list than, than vacations. I don't disagree with that, but show me some evidence that suggests starting before Labor Day is the best pathway to do that. Mr. Winslow, however, is offering a compromise. Close the schools on every Monday and Friday during August, and he hopes the House Education Committee, when it meets next week, will approve that compromise. We'll see. Your few in Lansing, Tim Skubik, 6 News.